how much money is he spending a day? For every day when we come to God without his case being had, we talk at least an amount of 110K. We need to understand one thing. He knows that he, he, he's not in the wrong side of the law. There is nothing better than dying for your own. But necessary, necessarily, there are so many new facts which have to qualify our clients to get a bail today. And should that not be entertained, then from here, we are going straight to the high court. If he is using a, a, a two attorneys, three advocates, how much money is he spending a day? Uh, my dad lost everything saving me and my children. Even now, he's still in prison for kidnapping. I don't remember opening a kidnapping charge against him. Why he's still in there for a kidnapping charge, it really makes no sense to me. Why would you release me for kidnapping and send me to the hostages? So you release me to go and take care of the hostages. It does not make sense um, to me. All of this uh, that he's going through right now is because of it's because of me, and I really appreciate him because there's not a lot of men that will even attempt to do what I did. violence, but uh, I went and took my kids, and then Magmelin Puma was beaten for my kids. Should he public figure. figure. Utugi wengani. Labon. Labon tu lababa zile la the Friday before. Mabazo mtuga. Bebanga mtugeli yena. Bebanga mtugela mina. Mabazo mtretinisha. Bebanga mtretinisha yena. Bebanga mtretinisha la mina. Kiri vata. Nabali chifata mtatabo. The whole common purpose of this thing is the kids. Now nobody is addressing the kids. Nobody is doing anything about the kids. They are focusing on him. Um. But um, he's definitely my hero. He's definitely my hero. Even when I when I still see him, Manje, when I go to visit him in prison, you know, he's still telling me, "Good nah, my boy. Um, don't feel bad for me. Don't feel sorry for me. You know, I stood for you as you were standing for your own kids. The kids have only been there at their grandmother's house since." The mother has been sick and the reason for that is obviously because my wife felt like I couldn't stay home to take care of her and the kids and have to to work at the same time so she felt that uh, it would be easier for all of us if she could go back home uh, try and recover and then come back uh, it's unfortunate that uh, she she never recovered she lost her life i lost a partner a friend the mother of my kids so i think about on a thursday i spoke to her mother uh mrs margaret malaza i spoke to her i asked that can i please have you know the kids for at least one night so that we could grieve together and you know have our moment uh i was then told in that moment in that meeting that listen rev um you are still young i expect you to get your life together and move on uh you can still find somebody else to marry you can still you can still you know make other children elsewhere but these kids, I'm keeping them, I'm raising them. The only thing I'll be needing from you is just for you to uh, support them financially. After that Thursday, I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to
abantu anokunye uzababona amakusho mina ngesikhathi sami eh i'm not expecting you to be you know uh calling on my phone every weekend asking for kids the kids you have full access to to them when they are about 13 14 years of age come monday monday uh after the burial of my wife it was my son's birthday i find out to be to know they've already got plans with the kids that hurt me <laughs> Uh, that hurt my kids as well because um i had promised to take them out mind you i couldn't have them before the burial i can't have them after the burial was on my son's um special day uh the week before me and the maternal grandmother were actually in court the court clerk told her that listen in this case the father has the full rights however if you have any grievances if you have any complaints you have the court to approach if there was a time for men to fight for their kids right it now is the time now is the time to for men to speak up to speak out about what goes on you know a lot of some men who are aware of this story when they talk to me they tell me about how they just let their babies go i'm not that type men need to fight for their kids men need to fight to be involved in their kids lives mina ngohlala ngompo mina ngohlala ngompo mina ngohlala ngompo Prison is no joke says controversial pastor and lead Daupa Segamboro after being released on a 3000 rand bail. Now his co-accused and Borekato Clement Paloi is also out on warning. Now during the short appearance before the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court on Thursday, the state said that it would not be opposing the duo's bail application provided strict measures were attached to their bail. Now the defense told the court that Umboro can afford bail of 3000 rands but asked that Ubaloi be granted free bail. One of the attorneys who represented Umboro, Advocate Philip Lamini, said Umboro is just a worker and cannot afford any amount above 3000 rands. Now, Ulamini told Sunday World that the defense team has um or had a strong case and was confident that um Umboro was going to be released on bail. He said and I quote, "The matter was not a schedule 5, but they used all the delay tactics to keep one of the famous prophets in jail." After his release from the holding cells, Umboro addressed the media alleging that the maternal side of his grandchildren has been fighting him. I'm happy that I'm out of jail. This has been going for years," said Umboro. "I'm not even the father of their children, but those people have been saying they want me behind bars. They harass me for my child's maintenance." He further stated that he would fight with his son because they are family. "I ask for permission to speak from my lawyers. I am not talking about the people here. I am relating to what you have seen in the media and where I need justice. We opened cases, but those people have not been arrested." He also added that he's yet to share his experience in jail. However, he advised people not to do anything that will land them in a jail. Prison is not a joke, but we have seen God. I was in prison, but also in God's presence. I'm not on a campaign for revenge. I'm happy that I'm out to build this country, our families, and our children. I'm glad that I was able to protect my son. Now, if you missed it, Tumboro was arrested for a month after he allegedly threatened teachers at Matsidi So Primary School in Gatle Hong, east of Georgia. Big with two pangers okay now he reportedly did this just so his son revival could leave the school with his children the incident was captured in multiple videos that went viral on social media following his arrest his church was set alight by a group of angry school people leaving his followers and church members devastated now mboro is facing 12 charges including kidnapping and possession of a dangerous weapon he will be returning to court on october 21 2024 
Okay, so at first we thought it was actually his kids. Gandhi, no, it's his son's kids. Okay, his son was married to this woman. Um, the woman sadly um got sick. The son is working. Obviously, he can't really um leave work to take care of his wife. So the wife, because usa nalika ya nabazali wakotuga. Um, Jobe Sakula, a e, e, missile of Utsu Zubuya Masingon, sadly Agabanga Mono, and she passed away. Mega show Navele in Anesses and Gala Gulil Kala already. And then the grandmother said, Listen, my boy, you're still very young. Usazo Shata, Ubenez Nyingane, Lezes Nani, Abazugul Bam Lab, and Yabat Hat, a Wenuzozuben, the excess born, Amasebe note eighteen. Owa Manjinje, in Dengi Funa Yogwena, Imali, Isondo Sabandwana. That's it. So obviously, as a father who wants to be present, that didn't sit well with him. Okay? So they've been battling it all together. Now, it would make sense for the grandmother to stay with the kids because um, the Moro's son is working. Unless if they can say, we can, we'll take the kids and then hire Uneni to look after the kids. While it's a seven or a boy schooling and all of that. Um, but if that option is not available for them to hire Uneni, then it would make sense for the grandmother to stay with the kids. Go back on my arrangements. Okay, I'm a weekend. Umezo zo bata tabantu ana uba buye sendamba ma Sunday. Uba landa Friday ndamba ma uba buye sa Sunday ndamba. Okay. That would make sense. Um, obviously, in an American like Coco, it's on long Melis Coke, you know. Motus, we are supposed to say a story. Coco, it's either Banu Koshaga lo corner or corner into Abayazio, Tina, Esnayas. We shall see again the Gare Pelugutsi Gube Conin, Zolos, Ugutsi, Usban Banu, and our Bula Lusban Banu, Ebo and Tiganjal, Namugus in Campus Ban Banga, engaged to Zakozo Trina, Bamboy Sekai, and Campe Basa Tinello, Lokuzi, Bamboy Sekaya, Campe, they, they don't really, um, understand Uguti. You know, she had to come back home because this one was working and it only made sense for her to, to return home while she was still sick. You know, you know, you know, because the only people that can really take care of you, so it was that case. I don't know. I mean, as a CGS, let's say, a husband or Shonil, and then the husband's family decide to go to the house. You are still young, you can still, um, Zala at the kids because here we're not talking about a deadbeat parent who doesn't want to be involved in his child's um in his children's um life we are talking about someone who wants to be present for their kids and the grandparents are saying you know from the other side they're saying no you will only have them when they're like around 18 for now all we need from you is your money you know but then again we don't know the full story so we don't want to judge too quick in a hurry you know we're just happy Umboro is finally out. Hopefully, we happy in the end of the day in Zili. Because someone could have gotten injured and the situation could have been really ugly. You know, he could have been facing attempted murder or murder. Anger management is very important because he just saw his son and obviously he went, he just lost it, you know, as any parent would, by the way. Um, so I don't really blame, blame him because you're imagining your child like that.